Welcome to a gangster party. Just a couple real ones about it. Bad bitches only. Bad bitches only. 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 Pull up in that race, yeah. I might pull up four five eight. I might pull up on your bitch, but I won't do nothing that she say. I might pull up on your bitch, but I won't do shit that she say. Real as shit, young Jeezy got the hottest motherfucking mixtape out, man. Come on, the Chasey vision, baby. I might just get back on my block, shit. I might just get back on my block, shit. Timmy, I be, yeah, we chasing billions. Yo, 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 this is Lu Lucchese, man, Lucchese vision, man, shut your my boy entertainment, if I just say the shit, the shit didn't happen, you feel me, go pick you up some ball of belly, man, or some trap life clothing, man, also check out that back to business, man, Mr. Mayhem, man, we out here, man, Lucchese vision, man, if I just say the shit, the shit didn't happen, you feel me, a lot of things going on I like to discuss, is this religion shit that's going on, man, <clears throat> look at all the shit that's in the news, man, look at the white boy that ran up in there, and shot nine people and shit. The nigga got a million dollar bail. Nigga, I know niggas that ain't even killed nobody that got over a million dollar bail, man. Society and shit is fucking crazy. You got my, my niggas up at World Class Barbershop. They made the news, right? About sitting up in the church strapped. I been did that on Lucchese Vision like a year and a half ago. I had pictures and videos of the broad up in there with the gun and all that. I feel like this. If you got that much faith in God, then you don't need no guns. Because God going to take care of you. Who the fuck has pistols up in the church, man? You know what I'm saying? Do they got them up in the mosque? You feel me? It's Ramadan. Happy Ramadan to everybody, man. The celebration, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you ain't eating, man. The sun's still up, man. I know some of you greedy ass pork chop eating ass niggas like Nate uh, Wheeler is, is cheating because they too fucking fat. How many Muslims you see fat, nigga? It says in the Quran somewhere, I don't know the exact words, but after you eat, you're supposed to take a walk or before you eat, you know, you're supposed to have fitness involved in the way you eat and in your mannerism and shit. Motherfuckers is eating Twinkies and shit with lard in them. Talking about they Muslim. You know, that's unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? People are like, Katano's always talking about the Muslims. I talk about Christianity too. Find in the Bible somewhere where it says Jesus was a Christian. Find in the Bible somewhere where any of the prophets were Christians that are in the Bible. You feel me? And Paul wasn't a Christian. He killed Christians. He said he did before he got understanding. But, but he wasn't Christian as, as Christian-like, as, as Christ-like. You feel me? Jesus was a Jew. Jewish aren't Christians. So where do people get Christianity from and how they want to be Christians when all the prophets and people were in the Bible? They weren't Christian. I don't, I don't understand that. I, I just don't understand. And people think, say Gatano's cracking jokes. He's making fun of people. He's doing this. No, I'm not. I'm asking a fucking legitimate question. I want to do an interview with my man, uh, 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 Nigel, man. I want to find out how is it, how is it being a white Muslim in a white anti-Muslim society. I got questions I want to ask. There's people that want to know. See, people think Lucchese Vision and fucking mixtape is here to down people and always crack jokes. No, we on serious notes too. I'm going to ask the questions that other motherfuckers don't want to ask. Hee hee hee. You understand what I'm talking about? But people always want to come off to the wrong facts and people want to cover up. And one more motherfucker say, Allah or God knows my heart to justify them doing wrongdoing. I'm going to internet kill your motherfucking ass. You feel me? Just like I did. Just like I did. Hee <laughs> hee. Just like I did Nate Wheeler for beating up on an American whore. This is what I'm telling you. This is, this is what pissed me off about some of the Muslim brothers. That they call other people to talk about problems that I'm talking about. Like, I'm your motherfucking business. What the fuck I talk about ain't your business, bitch. Straight up. You got some animosity. You want to say something? Post it down here on my page, man. Don't call other niggas and ask nobody no questions. You see my shit? Black power, man. You see that? Black power with the with the swastika broken. With the black see the swastika? Oh, there's my TMF in the back. My SGC in the front. You see that, man? For real. Real shit. 
You know what I'm saying? You niggas don't live this shit. You niggas talk about, I'm an Asiatic black man. Y'all talk about black power this. Y'all talk about Muslim this. But then you at work smiling in the white people face, man. You feel me? I, I don't I don't understand that, man. Wait, look at how many people, when I post something, listen and watch what I'm saying. Even if they don't agree upon it, they listen to every fucking word because you don't want to miss something. This nigga Gatano might do something crazy. He might say something and people are listening. And that's power. And that's why I will never neglect you guys. And I try to stay true to what it is that I'm doing. You need to go visit fuckyourmixtape.com. It's like World Star, man. It's starting to get off the chain. Go to fuckyourmixtape.com. Follow me on Twitter at GLV911. Follow my nigga I Hate Papa Beer on Twitter. Uh, my nigga Scatterbrains. Hey, we all working together, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all oh, and check out iPlug Network. iPlug Network TV Rico Killabrew, my nigga down in the A who's from Minnesota. Go up and Google that iplug network we linking up with iplug iplug is the hottest shit in the south we're gonna get out here we're gonna reach the masses and we're gonna interview and get all to make all these weak rappers accountable i'm gonna be doing a motherfucking review of minnesota fats and i got a couple other people i'm gonna be doing some reviews on and it's coming up matter of fact i'm gonna play a song from minnesota fats featuring snoop dogg and I just want to see what y'all think about it. Let's, let, this Minnesota, I know this nigga. I seen him in Canada at the Cannabis Cup in, in Denver. Let's 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 hear what he talking about. Yeah, man. Snoop Dogg hanging out with Minnesota Fats, man. Yeah. Trying to crack a little breezy, young Timbo. Uh. Take her back to the speezy uh. and lay in the beat. Now, this is Minnesota Fats, man, featuring <coughs> Snoop Dogg, Lay You on the Bed. What can I say about it? I respect Minnesota Fats. I know the nigga. You know what I'm saying? The bitches in the video, man, I hate when a nigga got a video and the first thing he do is put some white bitches in it or some skinny ass bitches in it. You know, their face is decent, but their bodies, just because you light skinned and got good hair don't make you beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Them is some skinny ass hoes in that video, man. Them ain't video vixens, man. Them ain't video hoes, man. Them is volleyball players, man. Them bitches need to be at fucking uh, Park Center somewhere at Chaska High School or some shit, man. You feel me? I looked at the little notes, the bitch talking about, oh, they got good pictures of me with the tattoos. You know what I'm saying? I know Minnesota Fast got a better song than this. That song, it ain't whack, but it's not hot. I mean, Snoop being having Snoop on there can't save that song. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not hating. This shit only got 22,000 views on it, 47 likes. Six people said it was whack. He trying to do his thing. He's doing his thing on his own money and his own dime, so I got to respect that. You know what I'm saying? The song, this is what I'm trying to say about songs, man. When you make a song, fam, you want to try to make a classic. Each song should be like a single. You feel me? And if you got an album full of singles, you got an album full of classics or an album full of hits. These niggas is doing three good songs and then having 15 fillers in. People don't put album fillers in their shit no more, man. You know what I'm saying? So this Minnesota Fats, Lay You on the Bed featuring Snoop Lion, a.k.a. Snoop Dogg, I have to say it's, it's trash. I have to say it's trash. Because it's nothing different from what everybody else is doing. And, and Minnesota Fats, you've been around a long time, and I know you know better. So maybe this was just something you did when you was bored. You got Snoop on it. That's a plus. You know what I'm saying? You know, you paid a little something for that or whatever. That's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? But what I would have done, fam, 
as I would have put Snoop on a better song than that. It probably could have changed her whole career. And what the fuck, Bishop Don Magic Wand? I know this nigga personally, so I'm not hating Bishop. Nigga, your, your, your niece lived over here in Brooklyn Park in the apartments and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was stuffing their dick in their mouth and shit. You understand what I'm talking about? This nigga smoking weed in the, vi in the video and shit. You know? Hey, back to the point. Back, not to be scatterbrained, but back to the point about these churches and shit. I go to world class barbershop. They in there with guns and shit, and people talking about, well, in case somebody run up in here, we gonna be ready and all this and that. Let me tell you something, man. It's like this: y'all niggas was fucking bragging. About, oh yeah, you coming to pastor a bishop appreciation day? Uh, we giving the bishop a hundred thousand dollars cash. Why are you telling people that? People was fucking hungry out here. People don't have nothing to eat. People fucking rent ain't even paid. You got people in the congregation whose cars on the repo list or don't have enough money, cell phone about to get cut off, but they giving units to the pastor so he can get a hundred thousand dollars. To me, to me, you don't give your pastor nothing that you don't have yet. God making a way for him through you, but ain't no God ain't making a way for you. Man, get your motherfucking priorities in order, man. Let me tell you something, man. And this is no disrespect to the church that I'm talking to and, and, and that I'm referring to. Christianity is nothing but another fucking job. Multi-billion dollar uh, uh, organization that's about getting money. If you look at all the ex-pastors, I mean all the ex-pimps, gang members and all that, they get into religion because that's where you can't lose. If I was a fuck nigga, I'd tell you, man, I'm very, very popular. I got people that listen to what I say and come in and check me out when I'm talking on Lucchese Vision. That's a way I need to get into the church. If I got into the church and put on war suits every day and God's good sister and you need to do this with your life and all that, I could come up on millions. I know I could be big in the church. I could be bigger than Joe Osteen, uh, 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 Eddie Long, you know what I'm saying? All of these people, man. Because they ain't no better than me. You got to have a mouthpiece. You got to know how to interact with people and all of that. It ain't nothing but a pimp game, fam. Now, I'm not saying that some of the religion people and the, and the pastors ain't real or true. I ain't going to say that. But what I am going to say is 98.9% 98 of them is all fake. They're about their money and they're about to get money. Look at the pastor over there. They got the red. Well, it was red. He painted it. The fucking $100,000 stretched fucking motorcycle and shit. You know what I'm saying? Showing it off and shit. But the, but the congregation paid for that. You didn't have that before church. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fucking with. Reverends are supposed to be there to support you and your family and to tell you. Right from wrong and to counsel you when you're going through problems with your with your significant other. <sighs> Pastor ain't there to tell you, look, you know you done killed that dude, right? Let me turn you in and and woo -woo. look, man, all these undercover cop ass fucking pastors and bishops, every time somebody kills somebody, they the one turning them in. Why? Because nigga, you out there selling dope and doing wrongdoings. So every once in a while you gotta turn somebody in to the community to keep the police off your motherfucking back. Councilmen's uh, extorting and taking money from people, you know what I'm saying, and, and extorting store owners and then getting out of prison, coming back to the church, being accepted. I do something petty. I don't get accepted no more. I get shunned. But these niggas can do it as long as you go to the church after you do your wrongdoing, it's okay. People need to stop fucking using God for excuses to cover what they do and then getting away with it, man. These niggas is fake as a $3 bill, man. This is Gatano Lucchese, man. Shut your mouth, boy, entertainment. If I didn't say the shit, the shit didn't happen. Go to fuckyourmixtape.com. I'm back, baby. I ain't back because I ain't never left. I'm the realest shit and the most dangerous nigga on the internet. Holler at me. Get with your boy.